Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com back with another Lightroom video and it's brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe and this time we're going to talk about syncing your photos across multiple devices so let's jump right into this. Now if you have the Creative Cloud photography plan you can sync your photos across multiple devices whether it's on an iPad Pro, whether it's on your iPhone you can or, or your laptop you can sync your photos across multiple devices but if you don't have Lightroom Mobile just yet you can download it. It's free on Apple and Android as well. It's a great app to play around with and it's only getting better every day. So how do we do this? Well, I went ahead and created a folder right here under collections and you can see this little sync thing right here. I dropped in the photos that I personally wanted to edit and I go ahead and you can see this when you click right click sync with Lightroom Mobile. So I went ahead and synced with Lightroom Mobile which then allowed the images to download over to my iPad right here, my iPad Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Lightroom Mobile and we can see, let's go back, all of the photos that I synced, all, what was it, 26? 26 of them I synced right here. Now the cool thing about doing this on your, on your device like this is that if I'm flying or I'm sitting at a coffee shop and I just wanna, I did a shoot and I wanna quickly star and edit some of the images, I can do that right here. And the changes that I make inside of here, like, oh, I don't really, let's see, I wanna, I don't really want to edit this photo. I don't like it that much. So I'm going to give it a two star rating. Oh, this one I love. And I already had this one black and white, but boom. Uh, nah, nah, you know, that's all right. And then we'll make that a five. We'll make this a one. Don't like it so much. Same thing with that. I love this one. And you can see that I'm making these changes right here and it's going to sync back over to Lightroom on my desktop. So the changes that I make here or on my phone are gonna sync back there so you have a great starting point. This is really powerful stuff because you know sometimes I don't wanna have my laptop or I, I wanna get out of the house uh, on a shoot and just, and just go through the images like this. So if I go through, oh yeah, wait, wait, let me go back. I'm gonna go back here and I wanna edit which image would I like to edit. So we've got this one. So it's black and white. I wanna go ahead and adjust it I can see that I have my contrast almost all the way up. If we boomify it even more, okay, we're gonna, let's pull back and then boomify, boom. I don't know if I would go that far, but it looks really good right here. So it's a great way to do a quick edit. So if we were to do this color image and let's see, what could we do with the exposure? My exposure isn't that far off, so I'm gonna come back with the contrast. We're gonna boomify just a little bit get play with the highlights, see what that, look, what, look what's happening in the cloud area. And it's not hurting my image to go ahead and do this. So we're actually making changes in previews here. We're not editing the raw file on the iPad Pro. We're doing the smart preview, which Lightroom went ahead and created. So when we turn back over here to the computer, we can see that the starring that I did started to take effect. It synced with Lightroom so that I can go ahead and do that. The same thing would happen if I went on my phone. It would show me that it synced and did this. Uh, where, what image was that? So we were doing this image. Let me go over to develop. Was it this image? Nope, not this image. Let me see what it starred. What is that? Oh, that's the four stars. So let's click over here. We want to show just the four stars. Here's the one that I just edited and you can see the changes are made right here. Same thing with the next one. I went ahead and messed with the exposure just to do this, just to show an example. But all of the changes that I was making on the iPad Pro are right here in the computer. You can also see in the history from LR Mobile. So it keeps track of all that stuff. This is pretty powerful stuff. Being able to have the access to this in the Creative Cloud Photography Plan is highly important. Workflow is gonna be sped up because you can get the, get the stuff onto your iPad, onto your phone, and you can do this wherever you want, whenever you want, and then have it sync with your home computer for going through your edits. It's just a really powerful thing that's only gonna to continue to get better and better as Lightroom Mobile starts to evolve. So that's pretty much how you do it. It's really easy to sync your files the first time from Lightroom on the computer to your phone to your iPad Pro and get to editing right then and there wherever you're at and have it sync back and forth. So that's another quick, I hope it's a quick video, but that is another Lightroom video and I thank you guys for watching and that is it.
If you haven't checked out Lightroom yet and you want to try it for yourself, you can go to fronosphoto.com slash ccphoto to get yourself a free trial of Adobe Lightroom right there. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.